Good morning, more walker. Patch 9.0.5 is out today globally, and with it came a bunch of legendary and covenant tuning. But on top of this, we have a brand new secret mount that's come out, and it's a, it is actually a mount usable in the more. So if you haven't done the twisting corridors or gotten lucky doing the shade hounds hunt in the barrens, this is a surefire way to get a mount that is usable in the more and basically for free. First step in the secret is to go to Venari. From Venari you want to go ahead and buy the animated levitating chain if you haven't already, which lets you use the grappling hooks around the maw. You'll need this later on. Also go ahead and buy the Stitcher Dowser, which is a new item and it will allow you to collect materials needed for an item later in the secret. So when you've bought the Stitcher Dowser you'll be able to see these green balls of Stitcher around the maw. Use the Stygia Dowser close to one to drain materials from it. You'll receive some Stygia along with two unique materials called Stygia Dust and Stygia Sliver. To complete the secret, you need a total of 200 of each of these materials, which I'll explain why later. The green balls will be marked on your minimap, just like herbs if you have herbalism and ores if you have mining. And you will receive around one to four materials per nexus so make sure you pick up all of these along your way as you complete the next couple of steps as this is the only grind in the puzzle that you will probably have to grind out for an hour or two to complete next you need to get to the highest point of the altar of domination you'll need to use grappling hooks and the grappling hooks you'll need to use to get there is located here and the exact point you need to reach is here. You'll know you have arrived when you reach a platform filled with green fog. Also, you'll get an extra action button in the middle of your screen to use your Stygia Dowser. Also, all coordinations I talk about in this video will be listed in the description, so you can just copy and paste them into the game. Now go ahead and click the extra action button. This will make you enter a spectral realm and a chest with the runes above it will appear in the middle of the platform. It is puzzle time. You can click on two of the glowing runes at a time to swap the positions around. And to solve this puzzle, you need to pay attention to your surroundings. There, there are six spikes on the platform that you are on, and each spike will have a glowing rune on top of them. You need to order the runes near the chest to match the order of the spikes on the platform. Be careful as you do have limited attempts and if you fail enough times you will not be able to attempt the puzzle again for two hours. You can use this picture to figure out what order the runes should be. Compare the pillars order to the runes above your chest. Swap two runes around to make the right order and you'll unlock the chest. For me I only had to rearrange two runes to unlock the chest but I don't know if this is the case for everyone. When you have solved the puzzle, open the chest and loot an item called Crumbling Still. Once obtained the Crumbling Still, head back to Venari because she'll have yet another item for sale now. Go ahead and purchase the item called Partial Rune Codex. When you read the Partial Rune Codex, it'll tell you that three pages are missing to decipher its information properly. So, of course, the next step of the puzzle is to find these three pages. The first page is located here. And again, the codes will be in the description. To reach this point, you have to use a small teleporter to the place where Anduin was kept prisoner in the more intro quests when you first started leveling. The page will be located on a small table all the way in the back. The second page is located here. This page, however, is not very hidden. Just follow the coordinates and you'll reach a platform. The page is located on the right side of the platform. The third and final page is located here in the Beast Warrens. This one is inside a cave. Just get in there, head to the end of the cave and you'll have an easy time spotting it in the back. You now have all the pages you need. So go ahead and add the pages to the Partial Room Codex. This will convert it into the Intact Room Codex and allow you to read the Crumbling Still. If you click on the crumbling still now, you'll see a rune combination. And I suggest that you take a screenshot of this combination as you need it for taming the shade hound in the end of the puzzle. You now need to obtain the soul forger tools. These are needed to use the soul forge later in the puzzle. You get this from a ram up located here. All you have to do is simply kill and loot the guy. 
Next up, you need to obtain a Willing Wolf Soul. And this is a stray soul running around in the river in the moor. And it spawns in the southern part and runs to the northern part, then despawns and does it all over again. So my suggestion is that you start north and then run with the river south. And you'll encounter it at some point. When it spawns, it actually shows up on the minimap as a stray soul with the icon that of the souls that you rescue every week. And uh, you can see here, it's a big wolf soul. You just have to right click it and you'll soothe it. It'll then stop and howl for a minute and then you'll obtain the willing wolf soul. You have now reached a point in the puzzle where you need to farm out the materials from the uh, Stygia ne Nexuses. So you have to farm out 200 Stygia Dust and 200 Stygia Sliver. And this can be a real pain, especially if you have the Eye of the Jailer at level 2, where you keep getting interrupted by the Tower of Shit. So yeah, it's gonna take a while, but you'll be happy that you did it. Now that you have all the materials you need, you gotta head to the anvil to craft the armored husk. The anvil is located here, and the grapple you need to use to get to the anvil is located here. I'll just let this clip run, so you know exactly where the grapples are located, as it can be a little bit confusing at first. Now go ahead and click the forge, craft the 20 Stygia bars you need to craft the armored husk, and craft the armored husk. We are now at the final part of the puzzle. Go on and head to Venari's hideout, and just left of the entrance you'll find a binding altar. Interact with the binding altar and you'll receive a quest item called Feral Shadehound, and also another item called Summon Feral Shadehound, which let you summon the Feral Shadehound that we're going to tame. Before you summon it, however, be sure to know the correct combination of runes as it is depicted by your crumbling still, because you cannot actually open this while riding the Shadehound. I was lucky enough to have taken a screenshot for this video. As you can see, I'm kind of fumbling around trying to make it happen. I do, however, get it in the end and receive the mount as a reward. So congratulations on your new more mount. I hope you had a ton of fun doing this secret puzzle and I hope my video helped you out along the way. If I did help you out, please consider liking this video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and stay tuned for some future content regarding mounts. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.